Hello, everybody. My name's Robin O'Neill. What, what I really am is I'm a visual artist who makes drawings. But right now you're listening to me do a podcast called Me Reading Stuff. It's on iTunes and Podomatic. It's available for you every single week. You know what? I'm not for everybody. Let's start there. I know that. This might not be for you. The good news, people, is you only have to give it 10 minutes in order to figure that out. And if you don't like me, you don't like me. If you don't like this, did you just hear my cat? She was just wondering about that. If you don't like this, uh, we'll shake on it and say goodbye forever. No loss for either of us. We're gonna be all right. If you happen to like something about it or about me, then guess what? You have me every single Thursday morning. Even when I travel to places like Wichita, Kansas, or Tampa, Florida, or Grapevine, Texas, that's right, I'll record right there in my hotel room just for you. You know, I will say, I don't know that, actually I feel like I am not on my A game currently here on the podcast, and I think I have a pretty good reason for that. Um, hold on, I got a cough still. <clears throat> I'm just a little sick still. Um, but I'm preoccupied with my work. I have a staggering amount of work to do by the end of this year for my show in New York, February 2nd, Susan Inglet Gallery. And I have calculated it, and I can take about three nights off in the time from here until there. And that's about it. Uh, so I'm overwhelmed. Some of you know my hell story. Well, I'm back to working um, very much like that. So this is a little much right now. However, I believe in what I'm doing. I love drawing more than anything under the sun. There is no activity that brings me more joy, that makes me feel more like myself. Uh, I don't even enjoy coffee or french fries more than drawing, believe it or not. So this is wonderful in many ways. However, it is physically difficult. Uh, it's mentally, well, it, it puts a threat on my mental well-being. But at least I'm aware of that this time around. You know, it's pretty maddening in a way that I'm drawn to, the kind of work that I'm doing. A really obsessive, tight rendering with a mechanical pencil again. So I'm, um, I don't know. I, I'm basically just saying I have to be very, very careful with myself right now. So my energies are maybe not as evenly distributed. So if the podcast is failing in any way, I understand, I hear it too, and I promise you it's going to get better as these large drawings get closer to being finished and shipped off. Who knows? Maybe this is going to get interesting. Maybe I'm going to really lose my mind right here on the podcast. Also, one last excuse. I'm someone who uh, really vacillates between being extremely verbal and confident in my verbal abilities and then, all, and then being almost lacking entirely in that way and only being able to think visually. So they don't really go together for me. When I'm immersed in my work in my studio, I am not a great talker. I just, it, it just doesn't work that way. One goes away while the other is in full bloom. It's always been that way. And right now I'm really able to think only visually. So my words aren't really working for me. Uh, you should have seen me at Subway the other day. I was trying to order a simple sandwich. And something that could have been like, hi, I'd like to order the veggie patty on white bread with Swiss, please. It was honestly the most insane arrangement of words I've ever witnessed. And it just kept coming out of my mouth for a good minute and a half, which is a long time to state a simple sandwich order. It was noticeably loony behavior. So thank you, dear, dear, sweet, intelligent, beautiful listeners for being patient with me. Uh, I need all the patience I can get right now. Thank you for being here at all. Thank you, as always, for your feedback. Let's read something. I have collected a couple of things online that I have, uh, I'm waiting until I have the money to buy these books. So I don't, I'm not reading from books. I'm reading from the internet, uh, from two female poets who I cannot wait to get these books of theirs. Uh, first, we're going to go with uh, Gabriela Mistral. She, Nobel Prize winner, first Latin American Nobel Prize winner. That was in 1945 or 6. She was born in 1889, died in 1957. Chilean poet and educator. Um, a little person named Pablo Neruda happened to be a student of hers, if that tells you anything. And I was really taken with a short piece. So let's do this. I feel my heart melting in the mildness like candles, 
My veins are slow oil and not wine, and I feel my life fleeing, hushed and gentle like the gazelle. All right, and now I'm going to read you a poem by Alf... How do I say her name exactly? Alfonsina Storny. I just needed to slow my roll. Alfonsina Storny, Argentine poet. These Argentine poets kill me. Uh, I never met one I didn't like. Born in 1892, died rather very tragically in 1938. You can read about that. Involves water. She too was an educator, a teacher. This poem is called Parasites. I never thought that God had any form. Absolute the life and absolute the norm. Never eyes. God sees with the stars. Never hands. God touches with the seas. Never tongue. God speaks with sparkles. I will tell you, don't be startled. I know that God has parasites, things, and men. Wow. Storny, you dear soul. You knew how to, what is it, lay the hammer down? It's a mic drop. That's a mic drop ending to that poem. Um, I was watching something that taught me uh, Simone Weil, the French philosopher, said that there's only one question worth asking anybody, and that question is, what are you going through? And that really is a beautiful statement. I think it's also fun to ask what, you know, what are the kind of questions I ask? What's your favorite pizza topping, for one? And that's just me. So I do ask you that question, though. What are you going through? And I do ask you also about pizza. What are your favorite toppings? Lay it on me, string beans. Uh, you can do that on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at R-O-B-Y-N underscore O-N-E-I-L. I'm trying to stay removed and inactive on social media for a couple of weeks for various reasons. I've had, um, A, I just need to cut out everything I can right now. And also, I've just had too many strange reactions to what I do on there lately. You really cannot win out there, you know? My veins are slowing, like Gabriela Mistral's. I'm going to end by telling you everything I've watched while drawing in my studio. <clears throat> 15 hours a day over here the last week. I've seen a lot. Here's what I can think of um, right now. I made a little list, but I know I'm not getting it all. Okay, where's my list? Here it is. Silence of the Lambs. Two times. Leonard Cohen documentary, I'm Your Man. A lot of shitty performances and a lot of wonderful ones, namely... The Antony performance of If It Be Your Will is the greatest performance I've ever seen. Um, I'm just, I guess, ever, of all time. I'm just, I'm just, I've seen a lot of great performances, but that's in my top three. I also watched a Leonard Cohen documentary on YouTube where a Swedish woman interviews him, and it's a wonderful, wonderful hour, I think it's an hour long piece. Um, aside from the moment Cohen talks about wanting to marry a beautiful 22 year old woman. And um, that was that was that that hurt me. Uh, Benny and June, not the best movie, not the best movie. Uh, ha <laughs> excuse me, Halloween. You guys, if you don't know, if you're new to this, I've been very sick for the last couple of weeks. That's why my voice is like this. Halloween, Scream, Rushmore, Little Dieter Needs to Fly, Rope, Hoop Dreams, one of the greatest documentaries ever. So as Little Dieter needs to fly. Uh, Bundy, The Ice Storm, and the Amanda Knox documentary. If you have any suggestions, let me know because I'm here drawing for the next two and a half months. I need all of the input in my ears I can get. I love you guys. Take it easy. Be very, 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 very kind. Uh, people need that. Goodbye, everybody.